I'm saying, yo, what's going on there, people? It's that guy. It's not locks. I got my Tam Tam on today. Because today we're definitely doing another dreadlock review. And in today's video, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video here on um, a woman named Toni Morrison. Well-known author. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribed. This is the only and best and last place for not lock content. So yes, I'm uh, just getting right into this video, today's video today, um, definitely talking about some dreadlocks of the female world, the female realm, novelist Mrs. Toni Morrison, a, a well-known American novelist, editor, professor, uh, emeritus at Princeton University. Her novels are known for her epic themes, vivid dialogue and richly detailed characters. Born February 18th, 1931, age 85. From Ohio, United States. Let's go and see what her locks are looking like today. Um, I am quite thrilled to announce that uh, Toni Morrison's Dreadlock review is finally underway. This was number one on my list of dreads to, to make a video on, so I'm finally getting it done. Uh, so, jumping right in here, we see uh, what Toni Morrison is about. She says, we die. That may be the meaning of life, but we do language. That may be the measure of our lives. So we measure our lives by language, writing. She's a, she's a novelist, and this is her hair before the dreads. This is with her hair um, somehow styled into a perm, straightened, volumized as well, but knowing her with her African-American descent, her hair would have more looked like this in the natural state, Afrocentric to the max, very powerful Afro that she was rocking in her younger days. Um, definitely very similar to my hair texture in terms of it being a very light Afro, uh, but she rocks the Afro amazingly. Uh, Afros do come naturally. All you need to do is really comb them out if your, hair, if your hair is curly enough, you can do this. So um, more so today we see Mrs. Toni Morrison um, with the well-characterized and well-reformed white dreadlocks. It's really cool to see some people that support the locks and they've all turned white. It's like a really amazing feat to have accomplished because it just shows that you've stuck for dreads that long and into that much into your elderly years. Um, definitely a more recent photo of her here, but going back to when she was before the locks or when her locks were at a younger state, sorry, um, you can see that they are, they look manipulated. They look like they've been interlocked or twisted, but definitely I think they were interlocked. Uh, you can just tell by the cylindrical size of them. Um, they're not too thick, they're all relatively the same size, but her new growth here is not so maintained. It's just um, letting it grow out a little bit. Again, with the white locks, it just shows so much character, almost as much character as the novels that she writes about. It shows a sign of wisdom, knowledge, power. It's very overwhelming. I can sense it from these locks. And again, with the new growth, you can just see that there's a little bit of Afro, so she's not interlocking it right to the roots all the time, which is extremely damaging to your hair. But I will show you some signs of damage to come. On this photo here, we actually see a little bit of discoloration happening from the white. Yes, white locks do discolor more into a grungish yellowy tinge I've noticed in the Rastas in Jamaica like when they have all white locks they look a little yellow in some spots not really sure why it does that but I mean uh, I guess you could just dye it back to white if you really wanted to but it, it's all good uh, looking at this photo here it looks like the front of her hair is thinning a bit as she's aging elderly, but it's still really nice to see that her locks are staying strong and she's, and she's staying dedicated to them in her, through her elderly years. And we see a really nice lock bun in the background of here. Truly inspiring to see people grow their dreads white. It's just a cool, such a cool look. 
This is the photo I'm talking about where we see some damage in her hair with Mr. Obama, but her interlocks seem quite thin on the sides of her head. And um, this is the part when we do see balding, alopecia start to happen in this receding air hairline zone. So do be careful with interlocking because this is what it does evolve to eventually. If you keep on stressing your hair in such manners, again, we can see the interlocking stress marks on the top of her head. It's not as lush as it used to be in her, in her longer, younger years when she wasn't interlocking it as much maybe. Or maybe she just had more hair than we know that when you get older, your hairline thins out. So it may just be her natural state of locking here, in all honesty. But the locks still look great. With more of a close-up look, we can see that the lock bun is kind of like a, a one braid lock that is holding them onto a ponytail. Really hoping, really helping uh, with keeping their locks together. Uh, it's always great to have locks long enough to tie them up with your own locks because it's like a natural hairband. Why do you need one of these hair ties when you got one on your head? It's the best. So I suggest growing your locks to the length and you can at least try that. It's just, it's just really cool seeing where her dreads came from, um, especially how old she is now. And this afro is where it all started for Mrs. Toni Morrison here. Really cool to see that she decided to lock it up because her afro was really nice. She had really nice hair back when she was younger. A lot of women wouldn't want to mess that up for locks, but she's holding down for that lock community. So big shout outs to Miss Toni Morrison every single time. In this photo, we can kind of see some manipulation on the, on the scarring and this lock to her cheek here. It looks like it's been tied or something a little bit. There's a bit of um, a knot, a pinch, so to say, in this dread. Notice the coloring of her locks here as well. Not so white as they used to be. That tinge is evident. If you can see what I'm talking about, it's there. It's there. Moving on to the next photo. Uh, just another one of her from the front again with that pinch lock right here could have been a repaired lock come to think of it right now Maybe sewn back into place or so it looks like there's some free forming happening on this side of her left eyeball here um, There is some new growth that seems to be just matted up. So it's cool to see that I uh, just chill out on the interlocking the longer you interlock the worse it's gonna get so make sure you take some breaks and remember the times when your hair was healthy and shiny like in this photo. I like this photo a lot from Mrs. Morrison here. Um, just shows how much you know, locks like can be really appreciated on all sorts of women, ages, genders, cultures. Like it happens and it looks good everywhere. No word of a lie. So let me know what you guys think about Mrs. Morrison's locks down below. Um, also taking a look at this picture here, we can see she's actually using the, the same hair tie I was just showing you, like a bra strap headband to tie her hair back into the braid lock once again. Maybe she's not doing so much dread work on the forefront of her scalp anymore. So definitely big shout outs to those of you that requested this video. Um, I'm looking forward to more videos like this and, and of course, you know, this is a good way here in this photo to wear your hair uh, to bed at night. If you want a simple way to cover your locks, here's one method, which is the bandana method of covering your dreadlocks at night. She seems to be rocking it just for the daytime to keep something out of her hair or maybe you just want to hide some frizz or some dandruff that's happening. It's always a good way. But um, yeah, definitely going to end this video here. I do have a daily vlog channel if you guys want to go and check the links in the description because a lot of stuff is happening in my life over there day to day and I'm enjoying sharing that aspect with you guys. So please head over there and subscribe. But uh, until next time, I'm going to sign off. New videos here Monday through Friday. Um, I'll definitely see you in tomorrow's video. So until then, stay happy, stay nappy. Not Nation salute to you guys. It's the greatest orientation of block community around there. And you know, peace out, one love, I'm gone.
It's control. Nobody tells me what to do. It's mine. It's free. And it, it's, a, it's a way of thinking. 